Howdy, it's Mr. Pete again, your YouTube shop teacher, and welcome to my What Is It series, and this is episode the question portion. In a week or two, the answer, so be sure and watch that as well. Let's get started here with number one. I have some interesting items. Most of these items today came from a garage sale that I went to some time ago, and I still have a few more things besides these from that same sale. Now, here is a tongs of sort. There's a name on it, which I, I really don't want you to see right now. They remind me of a brick tongs, but a brick tongs is much more heavy duty than this and has a much greater span. This particular one has some pads here that have cleats on them that are kind of sharp. Two on this side and one on this end. So what is this device? I actually do not know myself. By the way, thank you for watching and supporting my channel by viewing it. I appreciate it. And here is a little pliers. Now somebody did tell me what this was for. I had no idea. It's only four inches long. It's made in Korea. Funny looking jaws. Needs a little cleaning up. What is the purpose? You know, they made thousands and thousands of special purpose pliers. And no one can know all of the uses for these. But what is this pliers called and what is it for? I am extremely hesitant to even show this particular tool because I have shown so many tools similar to this. It's made of uh, kind of that rare uh, brass alloy, which I don't want to talk about right now. I did cover up some names on it, which may give it away. It's made in Milwaukee, and it's 45 centimeters long. Has some. It's obviously a wrench, but what is the purpose of this wrench? Quite heavy. And I think this is an easy one. Everybody seems to know what these are. And there are many varieties, but uh, that's the last one I have so of this type. So let me know what you think that is in the comments. And read through the comments. There's always some very interesting and very funny comments, but keep them clean. Here's a very interesting tool also bought at that same garage sale. It's 19 inches long. It's extremely heavy. I suspect this is very, very expensive when it was bought new. There is a manufacturer's name on it, which I will show you in the follow-up video. But what does it do? You can pump it. Probably a giveaway when I say that it's hydraulic, but no kidding. But look at the jaws in there that, of course, would close when you pump it. I don't know what this leather strap is for. Certainly can't be to hang by your belt. It would pull your pants down. This thing is heavy. Whether or not these dies are interchangeable, looks like they're held in with a dovetail there, but it's uh, like rubber coated. So it won't rust. I don't even know if it works. I didn't try it. Uh, just an interesting tool to show you. But what in the world does that thing do? I know there'll be some of you out there that know the answer. Remember, I usually do not respond to any of the comments, but it, feel free to bounce off each other's comments. In a very recent video, you saw me purchase this Sterrett vernier caliper and it's very long. It's 26 inches long. It's quite heavy and clumsy and I know I have threatened to cut it off at about the 12 inch mark but don't worry I'm not going to do that but we know what this is but on the back of this calipers and some other Sterrett uh, calipers and maybe other brands too there are two little marks uh, points, indentations, or whatever you call them. Uh, let me zoom in on it, and then you tell me what they're for. I think this is an easy one. I'm a little embarrassed to ask you this. Okay, this is the reverse side of the steric calipers. And as I zoom in here, you will see two little marks. One here, and one here. What are those for? There is a very specific reason for them being there. 
And what do you think they're used for? I hope this isn't too easy for you. Here they are again, just a little bit closer. And of course they are adjustable as you move the jaw in and out. Alright, one more and we're done. And my final what is it actually is a who is it. I've got three pictures of a man here that was very popular. you got to be at least 60 or 70 to know who this man is. He's no longer with us. And I'll tell you in the following video, of course, who it is and why I am including him in this video. He lived to quite a ripe old age, although that has nothing to do with the price of fish. Who is this man? Well, I hope you liked this episode of What Is It? This is Tubal Cain saying so long for now, and please watch my thousand plus other videos. See you next time.